Okay. So I like this. And I'll just turn it down like that. I got a lot of juice. Hoist. What hoist? Yeah, it's weird. Weird. Why you do this? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, I need you to say something. Cause like, all right, bitchin'. Now I know it works. <laughs> all I had to do was hear it. <laughs> okay. Now I got I got shit to do. I can't leave this paint sitting here a million years or else I guarantee you. Man, I don't even remember where the fuck I was. Can you hear me? Anything helps. I just heard myself a second ago. So at least I know that worked. It's probably because I had two separate like audio inputs and it was like giving me the business because it likes to do that. What? You want to use the better of the two? How's about I just cancel all of it? No sound for you. All right. Fantastic. Thank you for telling me because I had no clue. I'm just sitting here going like, wow, I have five viewers, but nobody's saying <laughs> It's a shame because I did all that paint thinning in the beginning of that other one. That's fine. I'm going to make a video about that anyway. So it's not like you all missed out on anything you wouldn't have seen anyhow. One thing I was saying is that these models are full bore fucking wonderful to paint. The panels are just so big. I don't got to worry about like, oops, I missed a spot. Like it's all just huge. Or I couldn't see what I was doing. Nope. Panels are big. Now I'm doing the tops of the shoes, the Air Jordans. Got to do the Air Jordans. I'm doing the feet first. I'm just going to do, you know, like one more coat on most of these. I think that coat dried while I was busy fucking around with the other shit. So technically, I think this counts as like coat number three on this one. <laughs> And I'm still doing the high tops like an idiot. Well, whatever. It has paint on it now. I'm getting used to. Okay. Now I can go back to what I was doing. Which is coat number three on that guy. IWM Thunderbolt or old plastic? No, uh, these were sent to me by a patron uh, who had uh, acquired them for me because I'm using them for a Fang of the Sun Dugram themed game. But they are very much the classic old, I'm trying to put it in such a way where you can see it, Thunderbolts. But these aren't old plastic. I don't know what they're made out of. I don't know how he did it. He's a wizard. He sent them to me. Are you doing the Dugram paint scheme? Yep, Dugram. Dugram, 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 the hasty F4X iron foot. 
because that's what these are going to be in the game that I plan to run with these. They're going to represent, they're going to be thunderbolts, right? But visually I want them to look like that. Now I'm on the third coat. So flat panels only fuck the dumb shit. This paint's just going on butter smooth, so I ain't bitching about that, that's for damn sure. And it's nice and thin. super easy and so forgiving to paint these because the panels are just so perking blasted big you know oops i messed up a little bit i'm still in the same panel like <laughs> i can't complain about that come at it from this angle i think Yeah, I think Nagareth Knight was the proper choice for this. I was thinking about doing Zerius Purple. Then I thought better of it. And I thought, nah, I want that deep purple. I think I already did that one. I'm trying to tilt these in such a way that you can see them, but I'm also trying to tilt them in such a way where I can see them. Man, I might have gotten some in there, but it's not like you'd know when I put the fucking other shit in there. I plan to go over the shins, which are oh, these things, the bottom of the feet there and the, the shins and the thighs. That's going to be Ulthuan Gray. That's what I'm hoping will really pop this fucking purple. I don't want to just do white. I hate painting white, just like I hate painting yellow. And I feel like, well, if I'm going to use anything, I'll either use Gray Seer, which is highly unlikely at this point, or Othuan Gray, which is really what I'm thinking on those bits. And if you look at the old boxes, it'll try to, you know, like depict these things as having been blue, but no, these are purple. Man, I just went through that, didn't I? Fuck, I didn't realize how fast I was going. <laughs> that happens, man. I get moving and all of a sudden, shit, I'm done. All right. Let me see if I can get that box. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come here, you. That. Now, see, that's blue. I don't care what color it is. I'm painting it purple. <laughs> in the show it was purple at least ways it looks like it to me and i'm the one running it eh okay uh thighs next so i'm gonna be hitting these big chonky things right here i save all the white stuff and the you know light parts for last or at least second, because easier to paint over that stuff. Now, I got a lot more surface area to work with here, so I'm going to put more paint on the brush than what I would have put for the feet. I just want to cover that entire area as fast as I can and as smooth as I can. Man, goddamn! 
God, it just goes on there like fucking butter, man. <laughs> I can't tell you how much fun this is when it doesn't suck. <laughs> Woo! Damn. Woof! Man, the panels are just so big. It's like you can't miss. This is what painting should be like. <laughs> okay? This is what painting should be. Should be like this. <laughs> Sorry about the audio issues before. I thought that using my uh, Yeti would be the better choice of the two, but I guess the best choice is just to go with the uh, old webcam there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I painted that. Just with that black undercoat, man. It's going to take me a, a decent amount of purple. And I'm going to leave that that way because... When I put that Drucci Violet in there later, it'll sink in there. It'll be fine. Uh, let me get the back of it. Grins and giggles if I can see it. That's close enough. I don't want to upset the balance on the rest of it. All right. Now, you should be able to see it, at least ways I hope you can. You can now. Man, I was holding it at an awkward angle and everything just so you all could see it. And I could paint that like it was nothing. <laughs> Blew through that shit. Only everything would be like this. Or you know what? You know what it might be? It might just be that I have painted so fucking many of these things at this point. Like I say, I flew through like five of them before. I did five of the Wolverines. <coughs> I'll show you what I mean. I had five of these guys. I only get to do three. Three turned into four, four turned into five. And I tell you, by the fifth one... I was just blazing through that shit, man, just flying through it. And it was like, I just, you know what? I could probably paint that shit in my sleep now. <laughs> so maybe that's why this is just going much faster for me. Because I'm just like, oh, well, yeah. I don't want it. But I tell you, the huge panel sure as hell don't hurt. It just makes it easier. Yeah, I'm going to have to come at that from a different angle, huh? I mean, even if there's still some black left in there, it's not the end of the world. Now I want to kind of smooth that out. That'll be coat number two. For the, it'll, it'll just get some extra. I'm not going to tell anybody. Shh, don't snitch. I mean, even if I hit the bottom of the foot, all I would be doing is putting more purple in a place where there was already some purple. So, I mean, it's not like I'm going to get screwed. See, like the other one, the Wolverines, everything was so close together. It was hard to avoid hitting one spot with the brush while you're working in another color. And then it's like you even so much as twitch. I go, I inspect the entire miniature now. Oh, don't get in the water. Don't get in the water. <laughs> you can wipe it off. Wipe it off. Fat.
So it's real nice to know I got a huge friggin' margin for error and it won't be an error. It'll just be a happy accident. So Kerensky Con was a fucking blast. Much to my surprise, one of the special guests was Jordan Wiseman, co-creator of, of the game, which I didn't know. And I was just so blown away by that that I got to meet him and tell him my story and all that stuff. And that was cool. But you know what the coolest part about that was? Was the panel discussion that this guy gave. And it was him and Michael Stackpole. And like, you'd be a fly on that wall. And I kept thinking to myself, okay, what questions have I always wanted to ask this guy as he's talking? And I swear to God, dude, every time I thought of a question to ask him, Jordan would just start talking about that next. That would be his next thing. And I would be like, what are you, are you in my head? Like, this dude is so next level fucking smart. Like, it is mind blowing. <laughs> I was like, are you like stealing? The Damn. <laughs> it was so cool. I, so I never ended up asking him anything because I'm like, well, we answered it all. <laughs> Morning, Tuck from Down Under. What's up? Silent Mouse Man. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I got so busy bullshit and I forgot what leg I was on. I think it was this one. Whatever. My paint is thin and my time is long, baby. I got the time to do it too. Man, look how dark that is. That's great. That used to be this fucking grognard kid, man. Where, like, I used to say, I don't understand why anybody would ever want to prime in black. Well, when you don't want it to be super mega ultra, oh my god, purple. And you want to just woo, 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 lower the hue a bit. Priming in black is fucking dope. It just means you got to do it this way. <laughs> I mean, it ain't for, for sissies, but man. There we go. Now I can see what I was doing. Man, and process, the process will just try to screw you all the way, man, the whole way. You got to just be keeping your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> what is the mech it's too dark to tell this is a unseen thunderbolt there the lights on it now e -e. but this is a a big thunderbolt he a big chunky boy and i swear that the darkness will come out of this eventually because i am painting it purple and then when i get to the white stuff the white stuff it'll be far more apparent what I've been up to. Everybody say hello to my dog. She's right here. She, you know, she's chilling. The painter's pit. Nanolis, what's up, Nanny? I was just thinking about you. I was like, this guy always says I don't do enough live streams. Well, okay, fine. I got all this painting to do. So why not come kick it with you guys? My people. I think I'm on coat number two on these legs with this fella. The paint, because it's thin, keeps drying so fast. Yeah, there we go. See, sometimes it depends on my mood. Like, I could use mixing medium, Lamian medium, or just water. Today, I just used water. Because, you know, that mixing medium or that Lamian medium ain't cheap. And I'd have to use a lot of it. I don't care if I get in the crevices there. I'll just, I'll just learn to live with that. All right, that's enough.
<laughs> God damn it. I got to move on to another one <laughs> sooner or later. <laughs> Here, I'll show you again. Seeing as how we got some new people in the house. In his house. See, I'm painting this thing. Now this one has that stuff on the back. Oh yeah. THN 8T Thunderbolt. <laughs> Always been my favorite mech for the inner sphere anyway. So we're doing it up. Like I say, that one looks blue, but I'm painting this purple and no one can stop me. My goal is to get at least up to the cod piece done. And if I can get that far and I still got paint left over, then I'll start maybe working on like the shoulder spalders. Sorry, the miniature is just really dark for the first like half of the process. That's kind of the other reason, though, that I like priming in black is when you're doing it like this, it makes those colors so fucking easy to see. You know, you don't got to worry about where you put the paint because almost anything is brighter than that. But anyway, I came away with like 100 gigs of video footage, and uh, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 10, 12 hours worth of shit. A lot of it is panel discussions, so, you know, I don't want to misrepresent things here. All right, that, that's it. I got that. That's coat number one. Let me get up there for shits and giggles again. And that was, that was a lot of paint. I'm going to have to spread that paint out. That's another thing people mean when they say thin your paint. Just use a little bit of it and try to cover as much area as you can. It's only coat number one. <clears throat> you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And because there was no audio on that other video, uh, I am going to do a, a tutorial on how to thin your paint at some point in the very near future. So you've got that coming up here soon. See, and then by the time I get done with that leg, that leg is fucking dry. And then I can just move right on. Why is it called the Iron Foot? Is that it's Transformers G1? <laughs> that's, uh, that's the name that they gave to it. In Fang of the Sun Dugram, which is probably like in my top three, you know, animes that I like of all time. So I don't know why they called it that. But it sure is pretty. See, now the purple starting to really come together. Can you see it now? There you go. You can see it now. It's just dark as shit. 
Uh, okay, so Nanolis, I just did a video called The Tunes That Made Tech, and the first episode was about Fang of the Sun Dugra. And if you go back and watch it, you can see like where all the mechs came from that Battletech used in the early days. Well, like seven of them anyway. And like how conceptually similar the show is to the game and things like that. It's a great show. And if you watch, looks blue on the camera. Yeah, you're right. It does. I was just seeing the same thing. Looks like Matt Craig blue. But like, I swear to God, I'm using the Garrus Knight. <laughs> That's the leg I was working on. And I'll do another one tomorrow, too, and I'll go over how to thin your paint again because, uh, you know, YouTube hates my guts. Man, and as it's drying, it's that exact fucking shade of purple, boy, that I want. Yeet! It all has a history of making blue paint that looked purple when applied over black or next to black. Yeah, you know, that sounds like something they would do. But this, as it's drying, nah, fam, it's hitting the exact shade that I want it to hit. I tell you, my original gut feeling, like I say, was to go with Xerius purple down first, and then I would just darken it up with like Druchi violet or whatever. But then, I don't know, my gut said, nah, do something else. Go with Nagareth Knight. Yeah, you know, in the long run. Glad I did. Let's keep moving. I just figured I'd live stream this because, you know, it's a long, tedious process and I got to get it done. It's got to happen. This is for a game that I'm going to run in Southern California later this year that is based around Fang of the Sun Dugram. We are going to recreate one of the, or actually the climactic battle uh, in the show, the battle for the Planet of the Lawyers spaceport. And uh, visually, I wanted it to look like Fang of the Sun, but be able to be played with the Alpha Strike rules. So I came up with a way to do that using all the old mechs that they borrowed or that FASA borrowed from the, the show early on. So I said, yeah, visually, it's both Battletech and bang of the sun so i get the best of both worlds now all i gotta do is paint them that's the part they don't tell you and i already came up with it um i've been tweaking it and i went up to, to kerensky con right and i talked to some of the heads up there they're like they had a bunch of people up there that were like super well versed in alpha strike so i talked to them and i'm like what do you think about this and like we sat down and like brainstormed shit and I really feel like that made that scenario better. So I came home and I just like tried to apply some of the, the things that we had talked about there. And I feel like the scenario is better now than it was when I started. So I'm always playing the angles, kids. I'm always working on something. I just got my passport. Make of that what you will. <laughs> Man, the light doesn't even have to be hitting it for me to paint this bitch because it's so big. I have like almost no fear <laughs> painting it. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, I can see I can still see some of that black. That's that's good. <laughs> 
that's still nice and thin, the exact kind of way you want it to be, you know? I don't really know if I need to paint that all that many times. Yep, let me see I get back to that leg. Like just one right after the other, and then by the time you're done, the other one's drying. Go back to that, and then you're knocking out like two or three coats. It was fast as fuck. One of the reasons I like to thin with water, because if you thin with like mixing medium, lamy and medium, something like that, the viscosity is going to be different than it would be if you just thinned it with water and it ain't going to dry as much. These things kind of like make make your paint almost like a wash and it's going to dry different. So you use water, it goes. Phew. Tuck's coming for a visit. I don't know, am I? <laughs> Not that I'd be opposed. <laughs> All right, backs. There it is. Now I can see what I'm doing. Man, this is so relaxing. I have like no fear. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. Oh man, I might actually have to bring some more paint out. Did I miss that? No, it's just so dark. I can't tell. All right. Man, I tell you. I wish I could have stuck around and uh, seen Tommy, but uh, my rideshare partner was starting to come up and hack and wheeze, and I said, well, they're getting my butt home. I had just enough time to tackle the Route 66 sign, and then it was, yeah, well, all right. I had a boogie shoogie. But fool, man, god dang, it's just, I can't get over it. I can't get enough of it. All right, just, you know, how nice it goes on. <laughs> sure, he's coming here down under. You know what, Silent Mouse? I heard tales at Kerensky that there is, like, a huge player base down there in Australia and, uh, to some extent, New Zealand as well. Is that true? We had a guy come in from the UK with his wife, and they were both, like, super into Battletech. And, like, we talked for hours. It was great. Neil was his name. Nice guy. I'm going to do this one more time for shits and grins. That's what. Because I really feel like I've gotten as far as I need to on this. But maybe just flat panels only, huh? You say that, eh? It's not so bad. See what I mean when I say no fear? I could never have painted the Wolverines like that. The Wolverines are just so much smaller. I don't know if that has anything to do with like what scale he prints at or what. No. Anime North, May 24th and 26th, that weekend slash week would be a rough plan. Talk hell yeah. Uh, let's see, May 25th. Is that, is that Memorial Day weekend? If that's Memorial Day weekend, I'm already in Southern California. But if it's not, my FB page is dadgummit. Yeah, I already committed to GameX last year. They offered to pay my um travel and everything but otherwise it's good for 10 years i did that leg i'm doing this one now flat panels only fly fly fly
All right, boom shank. I'll give this one more. I'll give everybody one more. You get a 15th, 20th, 80th coat. You get a 270th coat. Because Tuck can't remember what he did. You get a coat. Can I even do the other leg on that one? Yeah, I did. I, I remember doing it. ADHD is a hell of a drug. Took me a second to remember. Good. And on flat panels, I don't have to worry about like, oops, did I get this or that detail? Because most of that's going to be in shade anyway. Or it'll be covered up by something else. So I'm not going to stress about it. I knew what the gimmick was. Bingo. All right. Uno mas, and then we'll move on to the cod piece. It's tedious, but I tell you, it is well worth it in the end. Just the satisfaction alone of being like, I did that shit. Back to back to back to back. All right, I don't think I can do any more on that. So I'm gonna call it good now. And now, <laughs> how much paint do I have left? No, mm, no. I don't know. Do you guys want to see how to thin your paint? Because I don't think I got enough to do this. All right. I am going to use the same spot. Here we go. I got this brush here. I call this brush my scooper. I pretty much don't do anything else with it. Now, I don't need a lot more to get the cod piece done, just a bit. I'm going to scoop with the scooper. I notice how I'm twirling the brush. That's how I get it down on there. Okay. Next step. Look. See the light glints off it. See how thick it is there in the middle? See? Okay. Give me my regular artificer layer brush. This should be something like maybe a, I don't know what you call this. I'm going to dip this in the water, but just like the front end of it, man. Like that's all I need. Just that teeny amount. Just the tip, right? And then I'm going to swish it around here. And that's one thing I don't tell you about thin your paint. Thin it as in like spread it out. Thin it out on this thing. Get it thin on the paper. So when you're picking it up, it's thin already. Now, that's all I'm going to need for that because this is just a little tiny amount. 
But you see, on the models, what I got is if you look, I got this red splotch right down here. You see it? And that's there because what I want to do is I want to take this paint and I'm going to paint it over that red splotch as a test. And if I can paint several brush strokes, if I can still see the red, which I can, I don't know if you can, but I can, if I can still see that red underneath what I just painted on there, then I know the paint is thin enough and I can keep working. If I couldn't see it, then I would say, well, it's, you know, it's too, too thick. I need to add some more water. Another good indication is if you paint your shit down, your paint, and you spread it out a bit. If I can still see the black, I'm doing all right. Now I definitely feel like I have enough paint on the, the palette to finish this thing. This, this, this thing here. What I've been calling the cod piece on all of these. And I want to avoid those little packs on the hips there because those are going to be green later. the inside of it too for grins and giggles uh what do i want to do about the undercarriage fam do i want to paint the underside in there do i want to paint that purple too or do i want to just go with the, the cod piece here i'm almost thinking like who the fuck's gonna see this? but i don't know here comes the, the hard part in a second is where i got to get up on the waist I'll paint all the flat parts first and make my life a little easier by proxy. <laughs> Whew, man. Missed it by that much. <laughs> this is why I've moved to neutral gray primers. I see. See, with this, I really wanted to go and just pull the hue of this purple down as much as I possibly could. I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to bring it back with Zerius purple. Because now that I've, pr I've, I've primed in black before, before I did this, like, I'll never go back. Like, there are some paint jobs where I'm just going to go, oh, yeah, I need my Army Painter Matte Black Primer, please. Thank you. <laughs> and this is just one of them. But thank you for sticking with me during the seemingly boring part. Because, see, when I put that Ultu on gray on later, it's going to change the game. All right, I'll paint the little uh, thingamajigger under here. Connects the torso. Believe it or not, fam, I really can't see what I'm doing. I just have a basic idea of where the line is. And the thing is, is the panel is so darn large that it's hard for me to screw it up. Like, I'd almost have to try really hard. Thunderbolt, huh? Yeah, that's right, Patrick. Thunderbolt. The Taskmaster, folks, in the house. The head honcho waiter. Down at Battletech International, Patrick Saul. In the his house. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go with my XS Artificer Layer brush. Cause I got to get in that waste area, man. And that's just going to drive me nuts. Mm. 
Now we're talking. Yeah, buddy. Tiny brush. Yeah, the tiny brush does it every time, baby. <laughs> tiny brush. There it is, baby. I think I made it all the way to the other side. Darn near. Boom. Because I want that, like, waist area thingamajigger there. I need that to be silver. But up until then, I'm, I'm fine with purple. So. All right. That's number one. Put that away now. I'll come back to you later. Just one of them days. By the way, I'm just going to sit here and paint as much of these as I can. If I can finish at least one by the end of the night, I'll be doing all right. I gave myself time specifically to do this. So personally, I don't care if I sit here until like, what is it? Six, almost seven o'clock. No, it's, it's after seven now. I'd sit here until like nine. I wouldn't care. And I got stuff to do. But my goal today was to get at least this far, right up to the cod piece. If I could get that far, then I'd be doing pretty good on all three. I see no issue getting that far. I should handle that task easily. I might just kind of shade those areas with like Gucci violet or something. I'll just have to faffo. Well, at least that went fast. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it just goes so quick. Okay, okay. Worldwide Goji Kai in the house. Kaiju Core, what's up, daddy? Paint some iron foots. Some iron foots. Which, not skinny brush, extra small, extra small layer, baby.
it just decided it really needed to have that second coat applied like right now. Okay, buddy. Tiny brush will have to get the rest of that. Represent. I'm just chilling here recovering from physical therapy. What did you uh, go do in physical therapy today? Don't you dare twitch on me, you motherfucker. Not you, Goji, the miniature. Hey, you still got a mind of their own. Process tries to fuck you at every given opportunity. pretty good. I'm not complaining about that. I don't really think there's anything to complain about there. Let me see. No, I didn't see it. This looks like that to me. I am going to take a skinny brush. I'm going to go in just a little bit more. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure I got most of that, but oh, my luck. I like to be thorough, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Lord, okay. That's good. I can still see the black underneath it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I painted that side. Sometimes I'm not sure if I painted something or not, and I just have to be like, do I remember my brush going over that area? But sometimes the light will clue me in, and I can see the paint shining off of it. Forget that. Kick myself. Okay, maybe not literally. But I'd be annoyed. Goes quick. Damn, it's over already. All right. There's that. So are those the old rattle parts? No, they're neither of those. They're plastic. Hmm. 
Man, that is entirely too much paint. Hi, I didn't even need the skinny brush. I just kind of pushed the brush in like that. Can I get away with that on the other side too, or am I screwed? I didn't do it. Damn, all right, bitch. Didn't even need the skinny brush. Skinny brush is usually like my unsung hero, man. Like it's always getting into those spots because it's got them long bristles right there. See? I just go whoop. Push it in there. Hey, hey, hey. This is a family show. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the old classic DT box from the 90s. No. No. That's not where it's from. It's from Fang of the Sun Dugram. The anime show. 1981. Sun Productions. <laughs> Okay, back to work. Guess I just didn't notice that giant chunk there before. I was like, that's not paint. Like something got stuck on there. No, I guess that's part of the miniature. Okay. Sometimes you just don't notice this stuff. I mean, if that's the fucking worst thing I got to deal with. Today, then I'll be doing all right. What I said about thinning paint make any sense? Because I'm going to make a video on it, and I'd like to know I'm explaining it right. Next episode of Painter's Pit's going to be Pytor's Hunchback, but I think I'll do how to thin your paints on the next one. Thing. See, I wonder, do I even need to do any more purple up on that waist? Like, what do you think, fam? Do I need to paint the underside of that waist anymore, or is just the one coat enough? Because I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, I'm just going to put fucking wash in there. Am I being lazy? There, I did it without the skinny brush again. How about that? Very silent mouse says, do lazy. <laughs> See, every time I want to do lazy, I end up sitting there going, no, no, you have to do all the things. Then you wonder why you don't go to sleep until 4 a.m. <laughs> Man, I've done so many of these cod pieces. I could have fucking sworn that that one was smooth. I could have fucking sworn. That's going to drive me nuts. Wait, give me like two seconds here. I just want to test the hunch.
I knew it, motherfucker. I knew it. Nah, you gotta get up pretty early in the fucking morning to fool old one and a dick. Chuck well. <laughs> I seen it. I was like, now that blemish I can fucking live with. The other one, that was just like, how the fuck did that get there? It was like some big rock or some shit. I'm like, bro, I know there was no fucking rock on this thing when I fucking started. Yeah, 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 that I can deal with. I don't know where the fuck that came from. I'm only on 160p, but to me it looks good. It's in the recesses, which would be in the shadow. And the, yep, yep, that's true. Seeing this reminds me of so many people. 3D printed Dugram Shad Mini. Where'd you get that? Where, where'd that come from? You have one of those? I know you all said do lazy, and I wish I could listen to you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you 3D printed it. You, yeah, but where did you get it? Man, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. Okay. I'm going to go over this one more time. Because, you know, all I know is that my friend sent these to me and I was very grateful to have them. Because, boy, howdy. I tell you, if you try to go back and pick up all the old, like, battle droids versions of these, like a Wolverine costs you, like, 50 bucks for one. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's probably still more like 35, and I ain't trying to spend 35 bucks times fucking six. So it's always good to know you have somebody on your side. Man, I'm just so blown away by how easy this is to paint. Like, yeah, the, the underside of the waist and shit, that's kind of difficult. But, like, if that's the worst I got to deal with. Easier than the fucking Wolverine. And I'm all for anything that was easier than that shit. All right. Come here, you. I knew I wasn't going to be able to 100% fix that, but... I knew I could mitigate it. You believe that shit? <laughs> okay. Well, I've done the fucking cod piece. I've still got a decent amount of paint. Fuck it. I'm going to do the shoulder spalders now. And the fists, maybe. even. What do the fists on that bitch look like? They're fucking purple. Okay. Shoulders. I'm trying to put it right where y'all can see it. There. Because I can see it just fine.
Hello, Bobby. How are you doing? Hello, Bobby. Yes, do a six. Go, girl. Don't mind me. I got to give my dog attention sometimes, right? <laughs> That's what I hear. She's looking at me like, you asshole. I love you, Bubby. All right, go lay down. Go, girl. Go. Thank you. Go, girl. All right, let's see here. Took her out to walk earlier. As soon as I get done with all this stuff, once I get like the purples laid down to whatever I feel like doing, I guess, that's when I'll take her to go on walk number two. What the hell? I'm just going to paint in there for fun. Because it seems like the thing to do. I tell you what, I'll only do the inside of the arm that way. I'll leave that part black. See how easy that is to thin down? Like, I get paint in there, right? And I'm like, nah, you know what? I don't like that. I changed my mind. I just dunk it in the water right there, right? And then I use a bunch of a water and a bristle. And I put it in there and be like, like a fucking magic eraser. See, I, I've lost nothing. Okay. No stress. Come on, Daddy. Yeah, see this idea will work out. I'll just paint the, the inside edges and the outside edges of the arm, and I'll save the rest of that stuff to be uh, old through one gray later. Yay! Now, the real challenging part. The inside edge of this arm. My question is, how am I going to see the motherfucker? Gotta be some way. There. Bam. That was not easy. <laughs> I'm trying to organize the 272 unpainted plastics I have here in the units for painting before the Kickstarter arrives with a painting. Yes, I know that feel. I'm just sitting here going purple, 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 purple. <laughs> I swear to God, before I left for Kerensky, I was seeing nothing but red Wolverines. <laughs> They're just dancing in my fucking nightmares. Da, 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 da. Doing the fucking can can dance. All right. Now, what the fuck is that shit? Let me look at the fucking box. They're all like that. Okay. Fine. That's purple too. I was sitting there going, what I'm going to do about that? Now I know. It's purple. Right there. That's where I want it. Thank you. 
I'll paint the inside of that silver, I think, because that'll be like an arm actuator or something. So I feel like the less I stress about that, the better off I'll be doing for myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, buddy. Because right now, I tell you, this miniature has just been an absolute fucking pleasure to paint. I know that, like, I got to paint a bunch of them in a row and it's, like, boring and tedious, right? But at the very least, it's not fucking stressful. Bingo. Yeah, buddy. All I gotta do is get the fingers. Oh, that is ill. Hell yeah, I was fucking ill. <coughs> Since my tabletop merc company doesn't have a, united, a unified paint scheme, I just kind of put myself in the mindset of how would this next pilot paint their mask? Well, how would they? Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails? Flame decals to attract the chicks? Room for that Kawasaki ninja that we always wanted? I mean, since it's the 80s and stuff, can you get, like, a vid screen to pop out of your shoulder every time you pop an enemy mech, and it's got, like, Nancy Reagan on it, and she goes, just say no! It's flipping somebody off. Not only is the paint job ill, but so are his manners. Ah. Get in there. All right. That's not so bad. See, now look. It's starting to come together. in line well I'm pretty stoked I have surpassed my painting goal for the day which was just to get up to the cod piece if I get all the shoulder spalders done too then boy howdy I'll really be moving What the F? That looks like a print flaw. I bet you I could cut it off if I just had my, my clippers. I don't know where in the hell's bells those things went to. Fuck it. Just leave it where it is, and I'll deal with it later.
Means I don't have to paint the end of it. All right, I got it. I got it. That was good. I'm not pissed. Yeah, it worked out. Man, I missed that entirely, and I still didn't hit the rest of the miniature with it. All right, what did I do on the other one? Oh, the hands. I was like, I knew I did some other fucking thing. What color should I do for the missile launcher? Evil Sun Scarlet, which is what you see there, or Mephiston Red, because I ain't using corn red, so don't say it. I think it's either fucking, you know, I might just go Mephiston because I've been going all dark all the way this time. Like I've been picking the darkest of the colors. So if it's like purple, I went with Megareth instead of Sirius. And I'm like, okay, well, if I need to do red, maybe I should just go with Mephiston. Because that's what I've been doing with all the other ones. You keep it consistent anyway, you know? What do you think, Mephiston? Well, like, if I could see the missile launcher. <laughs> All my stuff is more accurate for streaming convention than the atmosphere. Yeah, so we'll follow the course I can run into the what is the cool theme of the cool story. Yeah, I love those though. Now that you've got all the okay, I've got this out of the way and you're gonna Wake Ranger. <laughs> it's just a Wayne Wake Go Ranger. Anything with Wayne Waco, I'll read it. <laughs> And uh, one thing I liked about uh, Mike Sackpole is when he got asked, what is your least favorite Battletech novel? He wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Gentleman and a scholar right there. So far... Through this stream, I've managed to build Red Andrew Smith. Hell yeah! Hey, at least I'm helping somebody. <laughs> Where's my man? It's such a good day. It's good paint weather. <coughs> I got the doors open and everything. Sometimes with this thin paint, you're going to get a little bit squeaky going on. What you got to do is you got to just remember that it's supposed to look like that, and that's not the end of the world, and you'll be all right. Keep going. Every once in a while, you find a rock on your fucking mech's ass, and you got to pull it off before you ruin the entire thing. <laughs> 
the soft spot for the nail after doing the voice acting for him. Like, yeah, man. Oh, fun. Um, Red was there too. Red was at CampyCon. That was so cool. And when I, I uh, shook his hand, he's like, I'm Big Red 40 Tech. And I'm like, bro, I know I'd know that voice anywhere. <laughs> yeah, a good laugh. Oh, see, it's on that one too. Is it on this other one? Am I subscribed? No, it ain't. Yeah, if I had my fucking clippers, I just don't know what I do. I will just have to learn how to get around it. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Believe me when I tell you I've been faced with much more um, difficult challenges than that. Boom. Boom. Good. This is the middle one, right? No, this is the last one. I see purple on all the other ones. Man, I haven't even been streaming for two hours, and I've got that much work done. No, that's not true. The other stream was like 30 minutes before I stopped it. So, yeah, about two hours. Like, to get that much work done in two hours, boy, howdy, I'm just flying through it. The miniature is big, though, so, you know, that helps. Boom. And see, when I paint the the Bigfoots, or the Battle Masters, in other words, that is when I'm going to bust out the Macrag Blue. Where's my reserves at here? Okay. I'm starting to run out of paint, and I don't want to put down any more. I've used as much as I want to use for the one session, so I'm hoping I can get these shoulder spalders done because they have the most area. The hands can wait. I can come back to that, but I want to get the, the flattest of the panels, the ones that, have, like I say, have the most surface area to them. Well, I've still got a decent amount of paint left on this palette. All right, I still got a little bit of it there on the outside edge I can probably work with. Boom. Thank you. 
sometimes if I think something's going to dry too streaky for my taste and it's still wet, I can put paint right back on it and fly back over it and it'll reactivate and then I can get it to not dry in a streaky way. This will be third coat. Shoulder spalder. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's, that's fine. I, I can hack that. I'm almost positive this is the third coat on this stuff anyway. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. After a while, you'll notice they all just kind of blend together. Which one am I on now? Oh, yeah, I got to do the inside of those things too, don't I? See, I told you, every time I try to be lazy with it, my brain is just like, no, nah, fam. You got way more work to do. Isn't everybody? Tell me it's not just me. complaining still had enough on the brush to go back to that shoulder without having to go back to the paint which was good Now that I know I've gotten all that crap done, I can throw a little bit of extra focus onto the hands with some of my last little bits of this paint. Because I tell you, I am running out and I am running out fast. That into the middle of the purple. Mm -hmm. Man, fam, I don't know. If I have enough paint to do this, it's going to be only just. Okay, I'll accept that. Because on the other one, I didn't even do the hands. I was just like straight trying to conserve all my paint. But that can be something I do in another session. As long as I can get the ones done where I already started it, I'll be in business. Because then I'll come back and do more purple later and it'll just be the torso. And I'll just knock out the one hand that I didn't get with that paint. 
but otherwise I start right now with more purple it's going to turn into having to do the rest of the map and I'm going to take my dog on a walk because after me being gone for how many days I feel bad for her I got a little bit of pain left. Let's give it a shot. All I'm doing is working exclusively on this one. I might just have enough. Having to get real resourceful with it. Because otherwise. Bam. Ah, oh, that feels good. Yes. All right. That's one. Oh. This time it wasn't me. Don't blame me this time. Man, I'm still geeking out about me catching that rock, that thing on the friggin' cod piece, and just being like, uh-uh. Wrecked. E-T-F-O-H. Thing trying to ruin my paint job. God. I still got enough to go with another coat. This stuff dries pretty fast. But I probably don't have to do like the inside of the hand. Probably just get away with the outside. Right? Ah, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? None of you should have believed me. I swear I'll rest. Biggest lie ever told. <laughs> After this, I'm done. I promise. And other lies. <laughs> they have no intention of following up on. Yeah. It's just so wild to me. The fact that you would even attempt that <laughs> makes you a filthy friend in my book. <laughs> Man, that looks so solid. Yee. Uh. God, that's dope. I don't care anything they Good. I got that one. I know I got to get the insides of some of these. Yeah, that's fine. How about this? I do it on that one. Just like the first one, I did it too. And I know I got it on this one. I just did it. Cool. Starting to get to the point where I remember things. Neat.
Okay. I think if I try to go with any more of that purple, I'm just asking for fucking trouble. But... I got some good progress done. Let me see if I can tilt this light a little closer. Without destroying everything. Watch for chaos. Will it happen? Yeah, it looks blue. But at least you can see it. That's the one with the blemish on the butt. For as bad as it was, it being that way now, pretty good. Oh. All right. Let's see. It is 7.52, 8 o'clock. That means I got to take my dog for a walk because I promised I would and she doesn't like it. If I break my word, folks, thank you. I will be doing more live stream painting because, boy, howdy, do I have a fucking shit ton of it to do. I will see you all soon. Good night.